Action. Well, uh, good morning, YT, uh, YouTube, bikers, and Kapachak. So, uh, right now, again, it's uh, midnight time. So, I want to do another uh, upload or want to share something new. Well, uh, to be honest, this is not really new. <laughs> For me, it's something new because this is the first time I'm gonna upload a uh, weapon seal bearing hub. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, skewers. Uh, weapon brand, and this one seems to be uh, nickel plated or chrome with two springs. And obviously, this is only QR or quick release this kind of hub or hubs doesn't have conversion kits for two axles ok dokes so far this is alloy or aluminium the the luck for the skewers but for this one is alloy but for the skewer itself or the shaft is most likely uh, steel or nickel plated okay doke so let's go ahead and take a look at the specs weapon fever alloy hubs and 32 holes and color is only black the free up body or cassette body is AL7075 so it says here it has high engagement and five super long poles. Also says that it's a loud sound or tunog mayaman. So kito, what else we can check out? Oh, one year warranty, sealed bearing. All right, so I'm gonna open up the box. I received a lot of DMs or PMs about. Uh, bicycle hubs and I don't really like selling them because they cost a lot and you only uh, get to uh, the, the return or the return of investment is kinda low so I don't normally sell them but uh, this is a good uh, MTB hubs or weapon fever and I I got a lot of uh, queries or questions about this so I decided to look for a set and gonna upload them so this is bolt type hubs one two three four five six for rotor uh, disc and this one is aluminum it is not steel so it's kinda light and it looks like a circus monkey with the design right that's the way how Circus Monkey makes some hubs. Now, we're going to check out the sound. It's kind of loud. And, of course, this is sealed bearing. Now let's go check the front hub. I was trying to open this a while ago but I really don't know how to open this. It doesn't have uh, ports for allen key. This is all round so most likely you need to pull this but I really cannot pull it. It's so darn hard. I cannot. So there you go this is how it looks like with the front hub 32 holes now gonna try and check if I can uh, show you the bearing over here what size maybe okay because most most customers they ask what bearing size we have for the weapon or for any any kind of hub so 
this one doesn't have an allen port it's just round so most likely you just need to pull this give me a second <coughs> there you go just like with other hubs you just need to pull it so uh, huh? I really cannot read the code for the bearing uh, I'm not sure if you can see them 6902 something like that so anyway to confirm what size we have for the axle I'm gonna use the DG caliper points calibrate zero let's check for the inner uh, diameter or the ID I'm guessing this is 15 yes 15 there you go this is 15 14.99 or 15 that's that's a good news because if this if the ID is like 16 then it's much harder to look for uh, th those kind of bearings so let's check the the OD or outer diameter I'm gonna go back to zero I'm guessing this is 28 since 6902 yes 28 indeed Wait, wait, give me a sec. Close to 28, so there you go, about, about like that. So, if you Google 6902, that will give you specs of uh, 15, 28, 7. Unfortunately, we cannot measure the thickness because the bearing is inside the hub. We, I, I cannot remove that. So most likely we have 6902 which is good news because it's really easy to grab them or you can go to a bearing center and then just buy them or you can go to my shop we do have NBK 6902 uh, what else I can try show you maybe we can try open this up so I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video about that because that one will take quite some time so uh, that's oh I forgot my bad so I'm gonna upload another video how to open this and show you how many poles how big or how large the poles are and what type of springs and what kind of grease they are using is it black red brown white I forgot we need to check the weight that's the most common question I normally get from customers buying hubs so let's go ahead and put this on the scale we have 416 grams for the pair of course without skewers sometimes that's how they measure hubs so sometimes yeah that's how they measure the weight of the hubs without skewers so let's try putting on the skewers put this one up here and then the hubs with the skewers so we have 512 512 grams with the skewers so still quite acceptable for this kind of hubs and they are I think made in Taiwan also before we go by the way this is compatible to 6 to 10 speed cassette yeah you heard that right uh, this one won't work with 11 speed I've tried uh, 11 speed on this and it doesn't work it's only good for 10 so I have a 1142 coal uh, cassette I'm gonna try show to you guys if indeed this is 10 speed ready you don't need to try 6, 7, 8 and 9 because if 10 speed will work then definitely other or lower speeds will work out you just need 
to buy spacers. So far, so good. Okay, oops. Uh -huh. I think this one won't fit because the coal that has a built-in spacer, but I'm not yet done yet. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, there you go, yes, it's compatible with 10 speeds, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 speed clogs, so, yep, but much better if you can install a 10 speed clogs or cassette without a built-in spacer, this one has built-in spacer, so it's kind of scary or it's kind of hard to install this. You don't really have a lot of uh, space to grab onto. Let me show you what I'm saying about the built-in spacer for this. This one, it has a built-in spacer. So other 10-speed cogs, they don't have built-in spacer like this. But okay, so we're gonna shoot this one later, and this is another new uh, item or new part. New piazza at Ibapa. So that's about it for our weapon fever. Uh, shield bearing hubs. It's kind of it's kind of loud, right? Click, click, click. Yummy. So uh, I'm gonna. Try do another video show you how to remove this. Okay, dogs, and that's all for now. Bye bye.